Jim Hawley, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Well, Justin Brayton, he not only collected $1,500 from Nuclear Cowboys, the first whole shot of the uh, 450 class here in 2012, but a back-to-back -back second podium for you and another second. Yeah, that's uh, it's definitely a confidence builder to to grab that whole shot and uh, it was awesome to to get some clean air. You know, with the how rocky it was here and and uh, man, the track was just brutal. So it's awesome to get out front and I just you know didn't have RV speed. He's he's uh, he's riding really really well and and uh, there's a reason why he's got that number one on his bike. But I want to get up there and battle with him and um, you know I feel like maybe not uh, not practicing for a while, starting to catch up to me a little bit fitness wise. So. Got to get back at it and um, start pushing my leg a little more. And, and I feel like I have a speed, just uh, need to keep putting myself in those positions, getting out front, racing with them, and uh, it'll happen. You, you know, I was watching the mania. You kept RV honest up till about lap 10 or 11, 12. Is that the point when the fitness starts to kick in and you're going, man, I, I don't want to throw this second away? Yeah, totally. I, I made a really big mistake in the whoops. Uh, the whoops were crazy. They were just uh, a bunch of ruts and made a big mistake, almost went off the track, and then I actually landed on a tough block in the rhythm. and. Just kind of came, uh, you know, started making a, a few mistakes, and and uh, then you know you start thinking, and all right, you know what, second's good for tonight. I uh, I proved that I can get up and, and battle with him. Fastest lap time today in practice, so we're only getting better and better. And, and uh, you know, Team Honda Muscle Muck guys are are unbelievable. The the bikes insane so uh looking forward to houston looking forward to this week to to get back at it and maybe ride a couple days and come out of houston and, and try and get that good start and, and get out front and see if we can get one are you making any changes to the bike from week to week or are you pretty happy with it or you're you still trying to develop it no we've we've been changing it quite a bit on on uh, race weekend I, i've been staying in north carolina at my house there and and um you know, not being able to be in California and test, you know, I'll only go to the track and do 20 or 30 laps and, and the leg gets pretty sore. So there's no point in really going to, out to California to test. So when I come here, I just, uh, you know, give it 100% and uh, try and block the leg out. And, and we do uh, quite a bit of testing throughout the, the practices. And But, you know, I trust everything they do. We, we might make a drastic change, but it's only for the better. And then uh, having Chad Reed around today really helped. He uh, gave me some information and watched me in practice. and. Him being on the same bike, you know, he knows uh, he knows what to do and what not to do. So uh, thanks to him and, and the whole team, uh, we'll keep making it better and better.